Hello, folks. Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you so much for taking the time to check out today's tips and tricks video. So, folks, before we get started, I'd like to make a little announcement that we have an awesome Sequence Club membership. You can sign up and join, and if you do, you receive one awesome sequence each month along with free preset effects that you can include in your own sequencing if you choose to, as well as awesome, amazing, huge discounts on things that you might purchase throughout the hobby, including pixels, including Coro props, and many, many other things that you will need whenever you are building. So let us save you some money. Join the club that pays you back for being a member. So with that being said, thank you folks for joining us. We want to do a video today on... Um, doing some what we call bulk editing. So some of the features that are in x Lights are very, very powerful. One of those is the bulk edit. So uh, if we go back in time, uh, there was a time when you could, you, you could uh, only select one effect and you had the update button here for the color and you had the update button here for the effects setting. Um, and you could only update it and it would update it to be the, it, you, you'd select multiple effects and if you click update, it would update all of those effects. But the challenge was, is you didn't want to update all of those effects. You just wanted to change their settings. And there is, and has been for about a year and a half now, the, the ability to do what we call or what is known as bulk editing. So let's say I wanted to, uh, have this specific, these two specific effects here, um, do a transition or a fade in or a fade out. Um, you can see that I, on this one here, I have a transition. It's set to 0.25 as a fade out and it does fade out. And, but this one here, it doesn't have that transition. So what, what if we wanted to have this transition on there? All we have to do is select it, click and drag, and we can, uh, we already have this one first, uh, selected. We can right click bulk edit, and that's always on the right click menu. You saw the little red highlighter there. And uh, it's already set to 0.25 for this one. So if we click OK, now it's going to be applied to this one over here. So that's all fine and good. But what about if we don't want the fade transition? Maybe we want one of these other transitions to, to occur. So we can once again bulk edit. We can right click and we can say, for instance, use the clock. And if we click on the effect, you can see there's the clock that fades out. And then also here on this effect here, you can use that as the clock on the fade out as opposed to the fade out that is. So, so there is a lot of powerful and interesting things that you can do with this. Now, one of the most recent additions um, that I found very useful was uh, the ability to change the entire effect. So right now, if I select these, these are uh, two, two pinwheels. Uh, and what we can do is if we don't like the pinwheel effect that we've created, what we can do is right click and we can actually change the entire effect. So if we want to change these to, let's say, uh, meteors and let's see what happens when we do that. So now we probably have about the same effect doing the same thing, but one should be flipped horizontal and let's we can go ahead and change that to something different so it looks like it's doing something different so now you have two effects that can that can be manipulated maybe this isn't most mostly useful but i will show you where it is kind of useful and i have a preset because i took the time to do this um well actually we can build it really quickly here we'll just do the um we'll do the on effect and I'm going to go to the buffer here. And the buffer is very nice for segmenting up such things such as the mega tree. Instead of having used um, uh, sub models in your mega tree, I like going to the sub buffer to create some, some models. So this is another tips and tricks with inside this lesson that you're going to learn today. We're going to create a top third. Oops, I have it rotated. Let me do that again. None. That'll be the top third. And then we'll come down here. We'll do another one, which will be on. Now it just duplicated that same one. Um, so what we can do is we can go to the thirds and we can go to the middle third. Whoops, wrong middle third. Thirds, middle third, center third. That gives us our middle one. And let's change the color so you can get a little bit more um, uh, visual on that. And then we can go to the bottom one here. Oops, just click the on effect again. And we will 
right click and go to thirds here and we will go to the bottom third and this can be our red one okay so where this is helpful where bulk of bulk edit is is kind of helpful is you can do different things with this uh with with these uh, transitions so that they transition differently uh you can transition them in one slowly more slowly over over all and have them all fade out at the same time so it looks like it looks like they all do fade out i think yep they all fade out but what you can do is you can you can change that fade out on all of them to be something that is just a little bit more different. Um, we can do like uh, instead of that uh, fade out, we can do like these blends. Okay, so so now you have something that's going to be just a little bit different or blinds. That looks like it's blinds. If I go ahead and select those again, that activates my little slider there. We can we can bulk edit the slider. Look at this, right? Right click, bulk edit. And we can do the slider that's goes different a little differently and then let's see the effect of that so you can see that did a little bit different with the blinds I mean so you can bulk edit pretty much anything if we don't like the brightness um, well back to my actual uh, or, original I'm jumping around uh, back to the original thing what if I want to make movement on these specific three uh, effects and the on effect just isn't doing it for me so what I can do is I can bulk edit I can actually bulk edit the effect and I can go to let's say galaxy or garlands garlands is a cool one so that's a, a pretty decent pretty interesting way to change uh, how you create an effect um, and how you uh, take the same effect uh, take an effect and change it using the buffer as well as using the bulk edit so what you need to do folks is you need to go out and you need to start playing with the bulk edit you can do that on anywhere usually anywhere there's a dialog box uh, I'll, I'll show you one of my favorites which is um, which is uh, the morph I love using morph morph is one of my favorite effects uh, I use it on I think I use it on every seat every single sequence um, and I've got, look at that, I've got a little transition going on there. So I've got the, the morph up effect. And um, if I want to copy this, I can. Uh, I, I just have to hit the P or the M. Sorry, M. Look at me on the fly, making all kinds of mistakes. Uh, there we go. And the, uh, the, the idea is, is that we could actually... We could actually do this. We could we could right click here and bulk edit and do the morph on these. This is a better idea. There we go. So now we've got them in our little segmented thing. So you can see how they're they're a little bit different. But one of the nice things that's been added into the morph features under the options, we have the option of swapping start and end points. And I'll show you why this is helpful. Because if you create this simple morph here, you can go and control V and you can create a copy and a paste of the exact same thing. And then you can quickly select those, go to options, and you can right click on this swap start endpoints. So now, now it's probably not gonna flow with the music very well. But you get the idea that you can have the same effect. You can make it much faster by selecting and dragging. And I don't have any timing marks here. That makes it a little faster. Um, so I think I think the point of today's video is the bulk edit. But I also think I've given you a significant number of um, uh, interesting ways to use a little bit of sequencing with inside your sequences. So with that, folks, I'm going to end the video. Thank you so much for joining us. Remember to check us out at pixelprodisplays.com. We have a ton more videos to help you get started with sequencing to answer your questions. Please leave the comments in the comment section below on videos or uh, tips and tricks that you'd really like to see. We'll see if we can't add them to the list. It's a lot to go through to teach little things like this, and it does take time to, to make the videos, but we're happy to try to do some. Leave your suggestions in the comments. Thank you very much for joining us, and we'll see you in the next video. Down through the chimney with those and Sam, and every time it rains, it rains. <laughs>